This video is brought to you by Capital Custom Bicycles. Nestled in London, right in the heart of Eastern Kentucky, Capital Bicycles lives by two rules, fit and comfort. Every frame we design and manufacture, every complete bicycle we build and finish, wears a proud badge of honor, one of one. A unique combination of design, finish, and build never to be repeated. Every individual frame is designed, engineered, and finished to reflect each unique Capital Bicycle owner in every way, from tubing selection to ride quality, from component selection to individualized paint finishing. Even the smallest details are important to ensure the creation of a bicycle that its owner will love, ride, and treasure for a lifetime. For more information, visit CapitalBicycles.com. Hey guys, it's Nathan from the Kentucky Cycling YouTube channel. We are in Berea, Kentucky this morning outside historic Boone Tavern where we're continuing our journey north along US Bicycle Route 21 or the Daniel Boone Bike Route. We started our journey down in Middlesboro, Kentucky, went from Middlesboro up to London on day one, continued our journey from London to Berea on day two. We're picking up where we left off last month and we're journeying north today uh, from Berea up to Winchester via Fort Boonesboro, which will be the end of the Boone Trace. And then tomorrow we'll head from Winchester up to Maysville, which is close to where uh, Daniel Boone had his last cabin in Kentucky and where the Daniel Boone bike route ends in Kentucky. I want to give a shout out to Dr. John Fox from Friends of the Boone Trace. Uh, he has uh, sent me a link, which I'll include in the YouTube description below, which includes uh, really useful details about where uh, along certain points of the route you are in relationship to the Boone Trace. It's a beautiful fall morning and we are really looking forward to continuing our journey on U.S. Bike Route 21. We are only a little less than three miles uh, away from Boone Tavern. And I wanted to point out this US Bike Route 21 sign because Dr. Fox from Friends of the Boone Trace has been going through and marking the signs and to indicate your proximity to where US Bike Route 21 is in relationship to the original Boone Trace. And as you can see on this sign, it's actually marked with a green piece of tape which means that we are right on the original Boone Trace, which is really cool. Blue means that you're within the vicinity of the Boone Trace, and white means that you're far away from it. We're getting returned on Blue Lick Road, and uh, we'll be right along the Boone Trace.
but the problem is crossing right you get these you get these turn lanes you know as people are trying to get off and you're trying to get across but at least there's a crosswalk Shortly after making our way across the Eastern Bypass, I noticed that my tire was going flat. There was quite a bit of debris on the shoulder of the bypass and I picked up a small piece of metal which punctured my tube. After repairing the tire and getting back on the road, we made our way into downtown Richmond where we were ready to partake of some down-home comfort food at the highly rated Jackson's Restaurant. After turning back onto Red House Road, we rejoined the trace. Less than a mile down the road, we passed the Red House. Built in 1810, it is privately owned but served as a stagecoach stop between Richmond and Fort Boonesboro and appears on the National Register of Historic Places. Continuing north, the bike route follows Highway 388 into Fort Boonesboro along the Otter Creek Bed, which at times was used as part of the trail. Just after you cross over the tracks a few miles down the road, we pass the Pioneer Cemetery, which sits on private property near a big tree about 200 feet up in a yard on the right and serves as good evidence that you are on or near the Boone Trace. Campground, grocery store, and mini golf. Off route now, going up to the fort. Given that this bike route was designed to retrace the steps of Daniel Boone and those early settlers along much of the Boone Trace, and that the terminus of the trace was Fort Boonesboro, we think that any ride along this route would be incomplete without making your way up to see the fort. Fort Boonesboro was reconstructed in 1974 as a working fort complete with cabins, blockhouses, and furnishings about half a mile from the original site out of the floodplain. After purchasing your ticket in the museum store where you can also pick up handmade pioneer items in the gift shop, be sure to visit with the living historians in the replica working fort where 18th century life skills and period craft demonstrations bring history to life for all ages. Boonesboro State Park, the route turns onto Kentucky 627 North and continues along this road some eight miles into downtown Winchester. 
While we had a wide shoulder for a good portion of this distance, we found ourselves wondering why the route organizers didn't make use of some of the lower flow secondary roads in this section, particularly Old Boonesboro Road, as it seems to reflect a decent amount of cycling heat map activity. Regardless, we were able to make it into Winchester's very charming downtown where we had dinner at the Bell on Wheels food truck located at a Better Brewing where we hung out with some of Ian's friends. After dinner, as the sun started to set, we made our way to our home for the evening, the Hampton Inn, Winchester. As always, we hope you found this content useful. If you did, please like the video and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks.